All right, so this problem says a rocket is launched from a tower. The height of the rocket, y in feet, is related to the time after launch, x in seconds, by the given equation. Using this equation, find the time that the rocket will hit the ground to the nearest hundredth of a second. Now, you've got this equation given to you, and you'll have similar equations anytime we deal with these rockets, and we'll get into that uh, later. Right now, you're, you're going to start with being given the equation you don't have to create it from scratch at this point we just want to make sure that you understand how to work everything first uh, so what we got to think about for this problem is what's being asked it's wanting to know how long so after how long that the rocket's going to hit the ground so we got to think about well, what's happening with the ground so let's let me draw this out to show you a representation of the path of the rocket over time so this would be time and this would be the height of the rocket and we're starting at 134 feet and that's because of this part right here so the graph of this would look like something like that or something like let me get a work and draw It'd be something like this it's gonna be a parabola I mean, it's perfect parabola because it's going to go up to a certain point and stop and it's going to drop straight back down, assuming no wind or anything like that. And what we want to do, I guess I could have kept drawing it out. We want to see how long it takes for it to get back down to the ground because the height at zero was when it hits the ground. So we want to see how long it takes to get back down to zero. We want to see what the X value here would be when Y is equal to zero. All right, so simple way of doing this, we need to solve this quadratic. We're going to use the quadratic formula because that doesn't look like it's something that I'm going to want to factor. So let's use the quadratic formula. We're going to say A is equal to negative 16 B would be equal to 232, and then C is going to equal 134. Let me give myself some space here. Let's just move all that and make it a little smaller. All right, so the quadratic formula, as we know, is negative B plus and minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC, and it's all over 2A. So negative B, we've got negative 232. We'll have plus and minus the square root of 232 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times our C value of 134. I know we're going to end up with big numbers working with, but it's okay. i got a calculator. I'm not actually doing it. So we have 2 times negative 16 on bottom. Let's go ahead and bring everything down. We've got negative 232. Plus and minus the square root. Everybody knows 232 squared in their head, right? You should know. It's 53,824. Yeah, I just did that right off the top of my head. You can't see my calculator. Um, let's see. Then we have 4 times negative 16 times 134. So we're going to subtract a negative 8. Five seven six, so eight thousand five hundred seventy six, and again, it's all going to be over a negative thirty two. When I combine these, when I do fifty three eight twenty four minus a negative eight five seven six, I end up with sixty two thousand four hundred. So now I got to take the square root of that, and the square root of that came out to twenty four or two hundred forty nine point seven nine 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 nine. Uh, and that's okay. I, I just there was more decimals, but I went ahead and I, I think I got enough to where I can get to the nearest one hundredth of a second. Uh, I could have wrote them all out, and I mean, really, I can still go ahead and do that and just show you the rest of it. That way, I'm typing in exact. Um, if I was doing all this on a calculator and I could show you, I would just type it all in at once anyway. But I can't do that right now. So now is when you'd split it into two problems. So I'd have negative 232 minus 249.799919 over negative 32. 
and then I have another one to be a, a plus version of it. And I'll just type these in the calculator and, and hit enter in the interest of time because we've already went over these, how to do them. But let's just uh, see what happens with our actual numbers and et cetera. I'll just type it all in. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so after doing the quadratic formula and all this, we end up with two answers, 15.06 seconds and then negative 0.56 seconds. Obviously, you're gonna get rid of that one. You're only gonna keep the positive version. And what well, the reason this is negative five point or negative 0.56, because you're starting here, you're starting at a uh, positive 134 on the y-axis. So if th for this to come back down to zero where the x-axis would be, it would have to go negative. We can't go negative in time. We're not going to go back in time. So you only use the positive version, which will be when the rocket gets back to the ground at 15.06. Now this one isn't as bad. Uh, now we're asked to find the height of the rocket, y and feet related to you know, time after it's launched eight seconds. We're looking for the time at which the rocket will reach its max. So now we're gonna draw another flight path, right? And, and actually that's incorrect, uh, cause we're starting at 127. So it kind of looked more like this. What we wanna know is whenever the rocket gets here, we'll call that the high point. We wanna know how long that was. So the time, this is the height. Time's always on the x-axis. It's the independent variable. So we wanna know how long to here. Only thing we really have to calculate for this parabola is the vertex. This is very simple. Uh, and, and really we just need the x value of the vertex of the parabola because the x value is gonna be our time. And the vertex, obviously, is going to be the maximum point there. We want to know when it reaches this max height. So to find the x value of the vertex, we're just going to negative b over 2a. That's all you do. So negative b over 2a is negative 239 divided by negative, or, well, not negative. It will be negative, but... I'm trying to write it out as 2a. So it would be 2 times negative 16, which will end up being negative 239 over negative 32. And when you type that on your calculator, you end up with 7.4, and we want to the round to the nearest. So it would be instead of 46, it's 468. We'll make it 47 seconds. That's all you're doing here. Negative B over 2A will give you the X value of the vertex of your parabola. And that's all we need on this one. Now this question is similar to the one before, but now we want to know the height of the rocket. So instead of reading all that again, I'm going to be confident that you know how to read it. We're going to say this is the flight path. We've got time here as usual. This is the starting point at 63 feet. And we would say our height would be here. Obviously, this is a scale. But now we still want to find this point, but now we're wanting the, the height of that point. So we want the Y value. To do that, you're still going to find the X value first, just like we did a second ago, negative B over 2A, which is going to give us negative 180 over 2 times negative 16, which ends up being negative 180 over negative 32. And if I type that on a calculator, I end up with 5.625. Uh, this time it does it still rounds to the nearest tenth of a foot, um, but for my math purposes, I wanted it to be as exact as possible. And I could have even, really, I could have left that fraction uh, for my math as well. doesn't matter. I'm going to do it in decimal form. So all I have to do, I'm looking for Y value. I want the Y value when X equals 5.625 because that's be that point in time. So I'm just going to negative 16. I'm going to plug in 5.625 where I see my X values at. And I can type all this in on a calculator together. 
and hit enter and it'll give me the answer and that's what i'm going to do right now and when i calculate all that out i end up getting five six nine point two five it wants me to round to the nearest tenth of a foot so 569.3 feet would be the maximum height of that rocket and that's based on plugging in the time that it reaches its maximum into the equation to figure out what the y value of that would be which would be the height of the rocket in feet and that's what we end up with for our answer um you can guys y'all could graph these and get these answers as well but and delta math shows you how to do that in their help video uh, i wanted to show you how to solve these problems algebraically and you're going to have to know how to solve them algebraically anyway but remember the key for the vertex of the parabola is negative b over 2a and that's going to give you the x value if you need the y value as well then you plug that x value which was here into the equation the original and it'll spit out your feet for your height you'll spit out the y value